Hey guys, today we're going to do a jump board workout on the Roof Farmer. Um, I'm going to start with two red springs. We don't need any props, although I do like to have a little headrest or like a yoga block for jumping just it helps with my neck and also for sidelines so your neck isn't strained so if you have one handy you can always use it so two reds on the spring let's lay down on the back we're going to start in parallel my feet together knees together each time you jump out make sure you're pressing your lower back down into the reformer so you're squeezing those abs so start jumping out you can start slow you need and then pick it up. If this is too heavy, then do a blue and a light or a red and a blue.
down into the corner, squeezing the quads and glutes as you jump out.
gonna do five more here and then add up. Use this as your breather. Now we're gonna add the head and then the legs. So drop the hands down, lift the head and chest up, extend the legs long, bend it in, and then back down. Exhale to press arms down, lift the head and chest, extend those legs, and bend in. If it bothers your neck to lift the head and chest up, just keep the head down. Or if it bothers your lower back to extend the legs, just keep the legs tabletop. Do what feels good for your body. Go down to a single red spring. Or if it's too light, do a red and a blue. Let's do three more here. Pressing that lower back down into the mat. Last one. Hold it up there, hold it out. Five, hold for four. Three, two, bend the knees in, bring those arms up to the ceiling. Bring those arms out wide to a T position. Palms face the body, exhale, press down, pull through those lats, and then back out to a T. Only go shoulder height or less, you don't want the hands going past the shoulders. And make sure those hands are above the reformer, you don't want them to drop below. Exhale to press down. Pull in through the abdominals, lats and obliques. Three more here. Last one. Bring those arms out to the side and up to the ceiling. We're gonna draw circles, press hands down, circle out and around. Again, don't let the hands drop below the reformer. Keep them in line with the hips. Five. 
Last two. Last one, press it all the way up. Pull those arms long. We're just gonna switch the legs. Reach the legs long, bicycling them. Pressing that lower back down into the former. We have 10, nine, keep reaching the arms long. Eight, seven, three, six, or five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees in, bring those arms up. We're gonna drop the handles and pull up. I'm gonna keep the red and the white spring on for single leg jumping. If you want a little bit lighter for single leg, you can always go down to a single red spring. So I'm gonna bring my left leg into tabletop, right foot is parallel on the jump board. Exhale, press out, and then it down. Make sure you get deep in that squat each time you come in. Try not to let it slam into the stopper. You wanna control that jump in, deep into that squat. Squeeze that right quad in glute. Yeah, 
alternate. So land, switch midair, straight legs, scissoring. If you can't keep the legs straight, you can go back to that single leg jumping, bending it. Press that back down into the reformer.
Let's do five more here. Press back, squeeze those triceps, back of the arms. Exhale, press for two. Last one, press it back and hold it. Five, hold it for four, three, two, and relax. Woo. We're gonna cross the straps. I'm gonna grab up high on the ropes, kind of by where the metal is. Your elbows are gonna pull high and wide. So bring those elbows wide so the hands are just to the outside of the chest, elbows are wide and lifted, and then all the way up forward. So it's a wide arm row, the elbows are wide. If this gets into your neck at all, you can always do a narrow row or a low row. But if you can, keep the elbows high. Think about squeezing the back of the shoulders, the upper back, and then release. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. back as you pull. You just want to do the motion through those arms. Five from here. Last two. Last one. Pull it all the way back and hold it. Five. Hold it for four. Hold it three, two, and release. Let's drop the straps into the well. We're gonna stay on the blue and the white spring for some sideline. You can always, if it feels too light, you can go to a red. But I find if the weight is a little bit heavier, I start to feel the motion in my quads and we wanna feel a lot in the glutes. So again, if it's too light, go down to, or go to a red. And if it's, it's too heavy, then just do a single blue, but I have a blue and a white on. So bottom knee is up in towards my chest. Scoot your bottom to the back of the reformer. You still want to be on the reformer. Lift up through that bottom rib. So my right foot is on the jump board in parallel. We're just going to jump out and lance up. So it's, it's a lot lighter than what we're normally doing. So you don't have to push super hard. I want you to focus on the deep bend and then press out. Deep bend and press. Each time you press out, squeeze that glute and quad of that jumping leg. You want to get deep into that squat. The deeper you go, the more you're working with glutes. If you just come in and jump straight back out, then you're working more of the quads. Eight, 
seven. You're really feeling that glute six. Press out, squeeze five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come all the way in. Take a little breather. You can pound out that glute. The next time, we're going to do one more. We're going to jump out. You're just going to do a little kick to your heel, your butt. So as you jump out, that heel is just coming in. It's a small motion. It doesn't have to be big. So inhale. You're going to make sure your bottom is to the back. Exhale, jump out. Do a little kick back. Tiny kick. You're just bringing that heel towards your bottom. So you want to stabilize the pelvis. You're going to just bring that heel towards your bottom. Ten more here. Squeeze that glute. Five more. Let's off for four. Three. For two. And one. Come on in. Last thing. Ooh, you can do a little stretch if you need. Bring that leg in front. Last thing. On this side, externally rotate it. So make sure you're sitting still twisted. The toes and knees are just turned out slightly. You're gonna press out and land soft. Keeping that external rotation. Get deep into that squat. Squeeze the quad and glute. Last 10. Press out, squeeze.
Last time, and go back to parallel jumping. Deep squat, press out, and deep in. Five more. And we're gonna kick that heel to the butt. Come on in. If you need a little breather, shake out, pound out that glute. Next one, you're gonna jump out, bring that heel to the butt. So take an inhale, exhale, jump out, little kick. The pelvis is staying still. legs are straight and all I want you to do, you're going to bring one leg up like you're running. Bring those knees up. Make sure you don't lock the leg on the reformer. So if it feels weird, just go slow. You're just kind of like hopping and then if you go pick it up a little faster, pressing through the toes. We have 10 seconds. Back to 
parallel feet, hips to support. This time, press out, eight squat, pull up through the quads. Now we're gonna go to second position, feet wide, toes apart. You can always take a breather if you need. This is the last set of jumping, and then we'll finish with legs and straps. Ten more.
Bend that left knee in, extend the right leg out to the side, feel stress in the inner right thigh. You can hold on to the ropes and press down on the ropes to get deeper into that stretch. Now I'm gonna extend both legs out to the side to do a little straddle stretch. I'm gonna press down on the ropes to get a little deeper. If you can't, if you aren't as flexible, that's fine. Just hold on to the ropes. Control what feels good. Place the bottoms of your feet together. So you're in a butterfly position. I'm gonna grab onto my feet and pull my feet closer in. Feel the hips open a little deeper. All right, let's take one foot out of the strap, other foot in, roll on up. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed this jump board workout. I am sweaty. I, I got a great workout. I hope you guys did too. Have a great day.